some tea. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would get a little personal with you guys, okay? I feel like I don't do that as often as I would like to. About why I left college and my job pretty much at the same exact time. <laughs> uh, I get questions a lot about school more than anything. Like what I went to school for, am I in school, things like that. What am I doing? So I thought this would be a perfect video. Just so I can kind of get a little more personal with you guys and you can get to know me. Maybe we could chit chat about it if you're dealing with something similar. You know what I'm saying? So, if you are new to this channel, what's up? My name's Ashley and you should definitely subscribe because I do make new videos every single week. Okay, got my rainbow mug here to put me in a good mood. That's right. 2007, I graduated from high school. I know what you're thinking. I know. I'm old. I'm getting old. I'm, I know I'm getting old. Yeah. So, straight out of high school, I went to a community college and I went for everything under the sun. I was constantly switching my major and I didn't even last a whole year. Okay, I dropped out. I moved to California because I wanted to try the Cali life out. My brother lives there. I wanted to travel a little bit and kind of break out of my shell, detach from the nest. You know how that is, okay? So that's what I did for about a year and then I moved back because I missed the seasons and I missed my family. I missed like the East Coast, all right? I live in Pennsylvania in case you don't know. I I love the East Coast, I just do. I love the West Coast too, but I was born and raised here, so you know, home is where the heart is. Anyways, I came back to the East Coast, worked for a little while, and mind you, I've been working since I was 15 years old. Never stopped. <laughs> I like making my own money. I like being self-sufficient. I enjoy working, put it that way. I've always worked in like the food industry, or retail, all those jobs that are just like not totally desirable. <laughs> and I always knew from day one that I wanted to kind of just branch off and have my own business, but I didn't know how and I didn't know like what way I would be doing that. My whole 20s is just me figuring everything out. Fast forward, I'm 25 years old, I get a job at a restaurant where I met the love of my life. Don't look at my nails, they're so haggard looking. Hopefully you can't see them from there. <laughs> I went to a community college, again a different one, and I graduated with my associate's degree in graphic design. Cool major, loved it, absolutely loved design. Especially love computers. I'm a big computer nerd. I love programs. I love all things like tech mm. So I graduated with my associate's degree not knowing what I want to do from there But I knew I didn't really want to be a graphic designer like I just didn't so at that time James graduated from Kutztown University with his bachelor degree we decided to move out this way near the campus because he got accepted into his master's program that he's currently in and has literally less than a month left till he graduates. Oh yeah, woo! So that's why we're living in PA right now, although I'm originally from Jersey and so is he. So when we moved this way for his master's program, I decided to continue into a bachelor program. Why wouldn't I? You know, we moved out this way, what am I gonna do, just work? So, going to school together, everything seems dandy, <sighs> until it wasn't. <laughs> I really soon figured out that college was not making me happy at all. In fact, it was doing the opposite to me, and it was making me really depressed. I like schedules to a certain extent, but I don't like redundancy and repetitiveness. That's one thing that will just kind of make me go crazy. And with college for me, it was like that. You know, every day was the same, fighting over parking spots and, you know, fighting to get inside the building and racing the clock. And I did not like any of that. The work itself was a lot of work, but it was very busy work, I felt. I felt like I wasn't really learning anything of value for me. <laughs> For what I wanted to learn, it was not challenging in that aspect. And mind you, I didn't go for graphic design. I was actually going for social media theory and strategy, which was a brand new major. I just didn't love it. It wasn't what I thought it would be. And just one month in, I knew that and I was extremely miserable. So I kind of like knew in my gut that college wasn't for me. I graduated with my associate's degree that was fun and all, but it just wasn't something I knew I would do anything with in my life. So I knew going through with the bachelor degree would serve really no purpose for me. 
I knew deep down I wanted to just branch off and work for myself some way, somehow. So this just wasn't it for me because I didn't want to graduate and work for other people. I was so depressed one Friday night, I came home, I randomly said, you know what, I'm going to start a YouTube channel right here, right now. I just got this teeth whitener in the mail and I wanted, I just had this desire to do a review on it. So I did, and it was so much fun. I didn't know anything about how to edit or I didn't know anything about YouTube, really, how to upload nothing. So, I mean, if you guys scroll back, you'll see how awkward that video was, believe it. Now that I've started finding something else that I actually found fun for me, you know what I'm saying? It made it that much more miserable for me to go back to school. So only a month in and I quit. I'm not against college and this video is by no means um, a video to persuade other people to drop out, anything like that. College definitely serves a purpose, but I also believe that it's not a one-size-fits-all either. I think college is a wonderful thing, but I do also believe that some people just aren't meant for college and don't want college, <laughs> and that's okay too, you know? Do you. What makes you ultimately happy? And this was not it for me. So during all of this, James and I were working at a local restaurant and <laughs> it was not fun. It was actually the worst restaurant I've ever worked in. I'm not gonna mention names, I'm not throwing shade at anybody or anything, but nevertheless, um, it was really bad for a lot of different reasons. The customers were really rude. <laughs> Uh, the atmosphere was rude. Just everything about it was really like off and even the staff like the management was very just They didn't play fair put it this way and every day um, After work or even before I would get really bad stomach pains from that job because I was so anxious all of the time and dreading it that much that I would cry. I would literally cry before work. And I'm not gonna get too much into detail, but James was feeling the same way. We were being treated very, 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 very unfairly uh, to the point where I knew enough was enough. I told James, I looked him right in the eye, I said, you know I can't, right? You know, you know I can't go back. So we both didn't. We both made the conscious decision to stand up for ourselves and not go back. So yeah, James and I just quit. <laughs> we did not look back after that, and the months preceding that event were very rough because James and I both up and quit our jobs at the same exact time. That was our only source of income, and we're paying rent, we have bills like everybody else, and we both just like up and left and didn't have any income. <laughs> like picture that. It was a really, really low point, and it really tested our relationship, but in a good way, of course, because James and I are now stronger, and we really can work through things, anything, together. So in a nutshell, I quit college, and um, in the same month, I quit my job. <laughs> I was trying to struggle to find my identity, but during this time, I was still making YouTube videos, and it was the only thing to keep me sane. It was the only thing to actually keep me, like, sane. I love YouTube, and I love making videos. This is just something I knew that I wanted to do, as ridiculous as it may seem to a lot of people. And it's not for everybody, and I know that. It's very unsteady. It's, it's, you, you're, you're working for yourself, in a sense, and it's up to you to make your own money. And it's not the most secure field, I guess you can say. A lot of people would look at it as being unstable, things like that. And especially older generations, I know I have experienced that as well, where older generations won't understand what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do, but I'm trying to build myself and just do what makes me happy. And I found my passion in fitness, something I've always had, but I love that I'm able to kind of expand it on social media. Everybody seems to be really engaging in it, and my Instagram has really been taken off a lot lately. And so if you're from Instagram, what's up? <laughs> and it's been wonderful because I love being able to spread positive vibes, something I've always wanted to do. So here I am trying to spread positive vibes, 
via health, fitness, and wellness, and I've, I'm happier than I've ever been, and this is my full-time job now. I love it. It takes up a lot of my time. I work around the clock every day, <laughs> but I really wouldn't have it any other way. I would much rather do this around the clock than work on somebody else's time on their clock. So I know you guys are probably like, wow, Ash, you just talked a lot, but I have a lot to kind of say. This wasn't just an easy video where I could say, yeah, this is why I quit university and this is why I quit my job. It, there's so much more involved. It, my 20s were just a test period for me of trying to figure out what I love and what I want to do, okay? There's nothing wrong with figuring that out late in life. I had to figure it out. Everything kind of made sense to me when I turned 29. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that is my story. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but, you know, if you have any questions, just comment down below. Um, I hope, if you're new too, I really hope that maybe this kind of helped you out in some way, gave you some different insight, things like that. You just gotta follow your heart, you know? You gotta do what feels right for you and you only. This is your life. You have to live it. Do it and live by your own means what's gonna make you feel good inside. Yeah. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in my next video.